Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, everybody? It's me, Protobuffers, and we're finally back with another video. On top of that, we're going to be doing a video for how to mod your percent on the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 3. If so, the things that you are going to need is a PC, an exploited PS4, and the profile editor tool for PC. So basically what we're doing is editing a PC profile and porting it over to the PS4. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head into the description and find the download. If not, you can go to my GitHub, which is Xire Project 2, and then go to Tools, Borderlands, the Handsome Collection, and download the profile editor zip by either clicking a view raw or download. So once you have the profile editor downloaded and extracted, head over to the view tab and then we're going to show hidden items. So now whenever we load the profile editor, this data folder will be created. So now we're going to open our PC safe and we can edit this however we want. I do not suggest going with a high badass rank due to your game being able to crash itself. However, you can also use this method to lower your badass rank back down all the way to one, but we'll be going over that in a future video coming up. Of course, you can change your uh, badass tokens. However, the max visible tokens that will be available is 9,999,999. Do keep in mind that anytime you sync your profile, you will be getting more tokens. Booting the game offline can help with both the uh, badass rank not syncing and changing your tokens so of course what everyone's gonna want to do is just hold down nine and everything because that's what everybody wants anyway however there's going to be a lot of issues if you end up doing it this way a couple things to note when modding your percents maximum health once this value goes past max you will have god mode shield capacity max you will have demigod mode people can still kill you with the amigo and the trespasser sniper rifles Shield recharge delay and rate both can cause your shield to completely stop working or maxing out at all times. Melee damage, if you go past the maximum value, you will not be able to damage anything as well as your grenade damage, gun damage, and elemental effect damage. With gun accuracy, I honestly can't tell. It gets to the point where it, it almost seems like it goes negative instead of positive. If you really want to mess around with the gun accuracy, that's completely up to you. The fire rate, you're going to crash if you use an infinity pistol. Anything above 18,000 is absolutely unnecessary, but there's going to be people that are going to do that without hesitation and just absolutely destroy their games. Recoil reduction, we're the same as the accuracy. It's almost impossible to tell, but it's better just to have it at a high value. The uh, reload speed, I actually suggest keeping it at around 12,000. The reason is you know, once you reload so fast, you're going to start having issues. If you're reloading, you're not going to reload. You're going to shoot one mag and then instantly have to reload again. It's good to keep a low fire rate and low reload speed. Otherwise, everything else can pretty much be max. So for our golden keys, the maximum value we, we can set is 65,280. It will only show the uh, first three values, but anything above 999 will not be displayed. Go ahead and unlock all customizations. Before you start editing your PlayStation 4 profile, make sure the save that you are copying over has at least 1% in it. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe on this video. It would greatly mean a lot and make sure to join the Discord. Now, getting into converting our PC save into our PS4 save, grab your PlayStation save from something like the Apollo save tool or save mounter for PS4. For this tutorial, I'm going to be specifically using save mounter. So once we have save mounter up, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and mount our Borderlands 2 profile save. Next, we're going to head over to the mount folder and then go to PFS. From here, we're just going to take our profile bent and drag and drop it into our PS4 folder. Now from here, we're going to want to go into the uh, description and open the tiny URL link that is provided. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab our profile save that we copied. Take your profile bin and drag it into the input. Unpause our Zlib inflate and we will be left with this here. We're going to go ahead and save output to file and just click OK on the download. 
we're going to open our download with HXD and we're just going to go ahead and scroll down. So this right here is going to be your badass rank percent and tokens. Obviously it's not one to one. You're not going to be able to read it. So don't try and manually edit this yourself. Everything here, this is going to be your customizations. And for our golden keys, we're going to look for this little guy. And then we're going to go to the first O2 after that. And then after that, we're going to go to the O2 that is before this little character down here. The uh, data folder that we can see, open the decompress.dev. So as you'll see here, we have the edited percent rank and tokens that we did, our customizations that we unlocked, and the uh, 62,000 golden keys. Make sure you are grabbing the hex and not just the AC on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this from the Y all the way up to the beginning of our bar stats up here. And now we're going to find this O2 here and grab the O2 down here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to go to the FF and we're going to copy right to the other O2 down here before this other character. So go ahead and copy that and we're going to paste it in here. Save. And what we're going to want to do now is hit control A and we're going to have a link. Now we're going to want to keep this in mind for later. So we have a three E. So after editing our file, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and clear input and output. Next, we want to take our download that and drag it into the input feature. Click on the uh, disable operation, unpause Zlib deflate and save output to file. From here, we're going to want to insert bytes. All we're going to do is add four bytes to the very beginning. We'll take that value that we copied down earlier was a three E and that's just going to go on the tail end of this. We're going to go ahead and save this file. We're going to clear input and output and disable the Zlib deflate. Unpause your SHA one now. We're going to take that Zlib file and drag it into the input. We're going to take the new output, copy it, and just paste it at the very beginning. Now we have our edited PlayStation 4 save. One thing important to keep in mind is that if the size goes over 900 bytes, the profile save will be corrupted. So what we're looking at right now is literally five bytes away from being a corrupted profile save. So from here, we would just replace our profile bin with the download.zlib. And as you can see, everything that I edited is all right here on the PlayStation 4 version after my profile has been synced. Just a reminder, if you want everything to work properly, go ahead and disconnect from the internet before you boot the game.